a lot of the water must have just got carried over and along with that fish dude oh my god oh look at this oscar dude fish are hitting my feet i literally just grabbed this with my hand oh <laughs> look at that thing that wow is... oh oh, oh my, my god. god look in there look at that fish What is up, BFB Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, as you can tell behind me, we're here at the abandoned pond. And today, it's going to be a completely different video here because we're actually going to be saving fish from this mud pit right here. As you guys can tell, we got a lot of rain recently here in Florida. And literally, everything is flooded. It rained so hard. The hardest I've ever seen it rain. And the abandoned pond here must have just flooded over. This actually used to be a pool here, guys. If you don't know the backstory, this whole land used to be owned by someone. And he was a big fish keeper. There's four ponds on the property. And he loaded them up with fish. And right now, we're saving them because because soon every pond will be filled in and they're turning all this into like apartments and all that. They're, they're destroying everything. There's a lot of fish in these ponds that we're trying to catch out. We've caught some insane stuff. If you guys have been following along, you already know that. But right here used to be his pool, right next to the pond. It's really cool. I wish I could have seen it in person when it was actually a thing, but since this was a pool, the ground is very, very low here. You, know, it's, you can see it's a big hole. When the pond flooded over here, a lot of the water must have just got carried over and along with that, fish we know that because we literally can see them we we were coming here to do a normal fish trap in the actual pond and we saw this and we were like oh my god there is fish here and we need to save them because it will dry up very soon so if you come down here and check it out you have a net and a bucket and we're gonna save as many fish as possible we don't know what's in here but knowing from what's in the pond there might be some really cool stuff like african cichlids and all that i can see a big fish right there like that's a big fish sticking out of the water half his body's already out i don't know how deep it is here it looks really muddy oh god it's very squishy. Oh, I'm sinking, bro. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna try and net this fish right here because this is the first one we see. It's very obvious. He's a big boy. It looks like bass. Come here, buddy. Get in the net. Oh, there we go. All right, look at this, dude. That is a freaking large mouth bass. That's a big one, too. This guy was almost fully dried up out of the water. Half his body was sticking out. Look at you. That is awesome. All right, well, we're actually saving this guy. Dude! Oh my god! Oh. oh my god, look at that. That's a mine. Okay, we gotta go one fish at a time here. We're gonna get them in a cooler. We have a cooler set up. We're gonna plop them in there and we're gonna relocate them later on today because we can't even put them in the other pond because the other pond's gonna be filled in soon. So either way, this fish would have been, you know, killed. Very sad, but we're gonna get them in the cooler and save them. This is insane. Look how flooded it is. Even up there, there's gotta be fish in here. I see little little swirls here and there. We don't know what they are, but we're gonna catch them. All right, here we go. We got our little bass in the cooler. We don't have too much water, but it's definitely enough for them. More than what he had in the puddle. So let's keep going, guys. I am excited, dude. I want to catch some cool stuff in here because we already know there's some awesome stuff in the main pond. And if it all just flooded over, we got to be able to catch them in the puddle. All right, here we go. I did see a fish. There he is right there. It's a Mayan cichlid, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can feel fish hitting my feet. Ah! Dude, fish are hitting my feet. And literally, it's just so muddy. You can't even see in there. That is so scary, bro. Ah! Here we go. Guys, you can expect a lot of flood videos soon because literally all of... Oh my God, what am I touching with my foot? All of Florida is just flooded. There's some crazy opportunities to save fish here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Get in the net. He's getting me all muddy. Ew. Ew. I just don't understand these fish, dude. What is their motive? We're trying to save them. Oh my God. All right, screw the net, guys. This is a Mayan cichlid. Even though we hate him, we're going to say We actually can't even save him because it's a Mayan cichlid. Very invasive. Honestly, the only thing we can do at this point is bring him to the actual pond and give him just a chance there because... I mean, that situation is better than here. That's literally the best we could do. It would be illegal to move this guy to any other pond. All right, guys, we're here at the abandoned pond. Check it out, beautiful pond here. This is one of four ponds on the property filled with a grain fish. We're gonna let you go. Adios, good luck. I feel so bad for him, dude. He's literally just screwed either way, but there's literally nothing else we could do. Yeah, guys, this pond is filled with a lot of fish, mainly African cichlids in this one. So we're gonna see what we can pull out of here. Oh! What? Dude! What is that? Rob, do you see that dead fish right there? That thing is massive. Oh, that is gross. Oh, I smell it. Oh, God. Oh, God. It smells so disgusting, dude. Oh, I could smell it from here. The snake head. I don't know how, but in, all this, I guess, must have been just like that, too. Look at this, dude. That snake head got dried up. Oh, that is disgusting. That is vile. That's so bad. Okay, we got it. Let's just ignore that. That's so bad. All right, let's keep going. I could see fish down there. They're swimming around. They're way too fast to even tell. The water's so muddy. I'm just gonna, honestly, I'm just gonna take some nets. Ugh. Holy crap. 
What? It's probably in the oh. back. Can you guys see that? There's another mine right here. Another big one. Why do they have to be mine? But we can't even save them really. Come on, buddy. Oh, this guy doesn't even look good. He was like halfway out of the water. That is another mine sickle. This one's even bigger, dude. Look at that thing. You know, kind of a pretty fish, but we just still, we still don't like them. All right, dude. You know, I hate seeing this because we know what's going to happen to this pond. But like I said, it's the best we can do. Right now, guys, as you can see in my hand, we got our fish trap. I'm actually going to throw it in the pond as we do this. I'm just going to throw it right on here. Just like that. So after we save all the fish from the mud pit, we're going to come here, check the fish trap, and hopefully we get something in there, you know, make it worthwhile. Best of both worlds, fish trap, and we're saving these fish at the same time. Oh, God. Oh, there they are. Dude. Oh. Oh, I'm sinking. Dude, all the fish, where do they freaking go? I just realized you should be careful. There's no metal or any kind of like shrapnel down right, there. Right, because this was a pool. I'm just trying to. Oh, oh. my God. Dude, wow. are you kidding me? Oh, it's freaking gorgeous, dude. Look at this Oscar. Are you kidding me? It's like a mini sushi. That's nice. Pink and purple. We've caught baby Oscars, like little guys albinos and normal ones out of the actual pond I'm gonna fill up this bucket with clean water and get them in it guys we got the first cool fish out of the mud pit oh we almost jumped out of my hands all right buddy get in the bucket look at this you guys that is freaking so cool wow now if you look while everything else is very you know pretty pink purple all that the top is very dark and that mud pit is so dark you can't even see inside of it like half an inch there's no visibility so we're just blind netting in there and like the fish i can feel them dart into the mud it's very soft and they, there might be something on this branch yeah oh nice oh my god what what is that there's a fish in here what is this what is this oh he's oh, freaking dead it's a dead fish it's a dead bluegill oh that sucks those That's are a, usually the first to go they're very delicate very fragile fish here guys that is a bluegill they're a native species here in florida that's that we're a little too late guys i just wish we were to come here earlier when this was you know higher and there was fish that were probably still alive because that snakehead's dead that bluegill's dead that just sucks man oh, oh ah! no what yeah, mm -hmm. yeah there's something in there dude so, that's what something was in there and you touched my foot <laughs> they better stop scaring me bro i'm trying to save them holy crap dude come here come here he's in the leaves now he's moving oh i'm sinking i'm sinking big time check this out you get it? Oh, dude, it's right under you. I got him. <laughs> yeah. I got him. Dude, that is so sick. Look at that African cichlid. I think that's a... Dude, that's the same oh, ones we were catching in the ponds. Yeah. In the trap. We caught so many of these guys. And this guy got a little too far from home. He got a little lost. I don't know what they're called. Comment down below. This one's a lot like... Washed I, out. I, I don't want to say it, but ugly. Yeah. Than the other ones we caught. That's probably because he's stressed out from being in here. We got two keepers already. These are literally fish that we're going to take home. Oh! Oh, right there, right there, a fish came up. What is that? Some sort of cichlid. Oh, it's a tilapia. Oh, uh, lame. You're lame. It's pretty sad, guys. I just feel so bad when this happens, cause like, there's just nothing we could do. I just, I feel so bad. But that is a tilapia we pulled out of there. Now let's see what else we can find. Oh, I heard something. Yeah, more tilapia. They're very heavy populated in the pond. So, I mean, it makes sense. We're gonna be catching them whether we like it or not. Let's get these guys in the pond, dude. All right, little guys, be free. Oh, you ready for this? Ready for this? All right, Dana. Ready? I'm gonna catch them red-handed. Gotcha! What are you doing in our trap? Caught nothing. <laughs> dude, it's like that deep, right where I'm Wow. Standing. Yeah. Oh my. Ow! Help me! <laughs> I'm stuck in the mud. Stuck in the freaking mud! <laughs> fish. There's a fish. What the heck am I caught on? What? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh my god. That is a piece of metal pipe. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, be careful, bro. Okay, I will. <laughs> so, Rob, do you want to have like a clay ball fight with me? No. Ready? No. Run. No. Don't do it. Fine, I won't. I won't. I won't do it. <laughs> no. Hey. Bad Bobby, bad Bobby. Don't do it, please. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my God. You're lucky I missed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I heard something. I heard something. Oh, oh, where'd it go? There was where, another one, another tilapia. There was something else. Did you see it? No. It looked like an African. There's another fish in here, I swear. He might've gone back in. Oh, we got one more tilapia, you guys check that out. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. What is, is that a baby duck on your face? What? What is, what did you draw? Oh, 
Is there mud on my face? This is disgusting. Actually, you know what? This is a skincare routine that I've developed. It's an exfoliation device. Can I see you demonstrate how you did that actually? Yeah, so basically. Oh my God. So basically guys, <laughs> what I'm doing here, I'm exfoliating my skin. I mean, this is, you guys always ask me how my skin's so soft. Basically, <laughs> I just do this, you know. You know. Like oh that. my god are you trying to camouflage right now yeah so basically what i'm trying to do guys i'm trying to camouflage so the fish can't see me where are these fish at dude where are they at come on where are they at oh is that one right there right there right there where? movement i see movement all right see right now i'm i'm barricading him in so he can't escape me oh my god what dude there's freaking holes in here i'm touching a fish rod i'm not even kidding <laughs> oh dude i grabbed oh my a fish god. I literally just grabbed this with my hand. Look at the freaking jag. Oh my God. Well, there was literally like a cave under there. Like I stuck my hand in, I brought it over and it just went straight down. He was in the middle. This is called a jaguar guapote. We haven't caught them in a while because in the winter, they actually all died pretty much because it just got too cold for them. So the population has decreased a lot, but we just caught this one. This is a nice size one. I actually am definitely going to bring this back for my cyclopon. He's really cool. I've been wanting a jag. There he goes. It's a little mud bucket. Give me some Rob. No. Oh, ah! What? I stepped on something sharp. Oh. No, that's like a thorn. Okay, thank God. Guys, I I stepped on that was in my foot. <laughs> Rob, check this out. Hmm? A baby mosquito fish. Very nice. That's interesting. You know, I'm sure that there was a lot of smaller fish in here, but considering it rained a lot, probably like over a day ago, I'm sure birds and raccoons came and you know got them all. Dude, I feel so dirty. I can't see. I can't oh, imagine oh! why. Oh, jackpot! What? Jackpot. Oh. It's one of those freaking pikes, little mud pikes. Yeah, mud minnows, I think. Mud minnows or something. They're actually really cool fish. And we also got a tilapia. That's two fish in one net. Let's get these guys into the pond, sadly. Actually, I think we could save the pike guy, tilapia. I got to throw back. You go in the bucket there. We're going to get an aerator on him soon because this water is disgusting. And we're going to release him right next to the fish trap in hopes that he will fall for it and that we catch <laughs> yeah. him again. Oh, what the heck was that? What the heck was that? Dude, that was a big fish. Um, oh, what the heck? Tilapia, giant tilapia. tilapia. That's not a tilapia. That is not a tilapia, dude. What the heck is that? What the heck is this? Whoa. Oh, that's cool. I don't even know what that is. I thought it was a tilapia first, guys. That is not a freaking tilapia. Ow. Look at this. What is that? He's fat. <laughs> guys, if you know what that is, comment down below. I'm pretty sure it's some sort of African cichlid, so we're going to throw him in the bucket. We're actually going to take him home. All right, there he goes into the bucket. What the heck was that? Where's my net? Where's my net? Fish came up. He's right here. Oh, oh my God! What? Dude, did you see that? No. Did you see it? Look at this. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That is so gorgeous. Couldn't even see him. I just saw the ripple. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Oh, you almost lost it. <laughs> Look at that thing. Wow. That's I think it's an OV Mabuna right there. Very gorgeous. Look at the blue face. Okay, you need to relax. Blue son. face, baby. That is so cool. Okay, we just caught two in a row, guys. Let's get them in the bucket. And we're gonna do a little water change to keep them nice and healthy. Give me some. Nope. Look at all of our finds so far, dude. We've actually caught a freaking ton of fish that we're gonna end up taking home. Look, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six keepers already. All right, no one escaped. <laughs> Fresh water, let's keep going. Rob, I just, I lifted up the net. There's another fish in there. It's another dead bluegill though. Oh. That's so weird. Why do we not see the dead fish? You would think the dead fish would float up. That means they're freshly dead because when fish die like very recently, they won't actually float up until, you know, some time. So that's that means he died fresh. He died recently. Oh. Oh. There's another no. piece of metal. This is dangerous stuff right here, but I'm doing it for you guys and I'm doing it for the fish. So go down there and leave a like. Oh, that was a good one. Yep, fish. Look at that guy. He's all oh, muddy. Yeah. All right, we're going to run him back. Is he even alive? Going in. I think there's something in the trap now. I can feel it this time. Oh, 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 ow, something just bit my foot. I'm gonna grab our trap now. Ah, we got you. Oh my God. Rob, I freaking knew it. Did I not tell you? Look at this. What? Did you see that? I called it, bro. Oh my Holy God. Holy smokes. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, I'm going straight for this one. Holy crap, what is that? Wow. Oh my God. That is the prettiest cichlid I've ever seen, dude. That is nice. Look at that thing. I have no idea what kind that is. There's a little Mabuna right here. Oh, nice. He's a little ugo, but we'll take him. And then there's like little warm albs, which we're actually going to save because they are native. Let's get these fish in the bucket ASAP. What is that? Eight keepers right now? Holy crap, dude. We're getting the cichlid 
mother load right now. We also got, look at that. Look at that haul of baby warm owls, mosquito fish. We'll throw them in the bucket. And then sadly, <laughs> I feel so bad. This is so messed up, but we got to throw this guy back. Goodbye. Good luck on your journey. Now we will set our fish trap yet again. We'll set over here. Boom. Science. <laughs> All right, guys, Rob just peer pressured me and made fun of me about my trap placement. He said over by the lily pads would be better in that I was stupid. I I'm not sure why. I didn't say you're stupid. I sure said you were dumb. Is. If we don't catch any fish, this is Rob's fault, guys. Just trust me on that. Yes. Yeah. You happy now? All right, yes. guys. For now, we're going to head back to the mud pit, and we're going to see if we can save any more fish. <laughs> Give me some, Rob. Nah. Before we do that, guys, we're going to get air on the bucket of fish we already caught out. So all we got to do is plug this in. Drop her in, <laughs> and now they have air. Three, two, one. <laughs> Dude, you weren't supposed to show that. All right, guys, just kidding. We have this. This pumps air into the buckets, because we're fancy. We must wrap this around my wrist in case I get taken by an alligator. I can still <laughs> catch these fish. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Oh. They call me the fish saver. Oh. That's impressive, the recoil on that thing. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> oh! No! It appears I've cut my wrist. Oh! Cut the camera! <laughs> Dude, I cut my wrist. Oi! Oh! Call the, call the ambulance! <laughs> oh! Oh! Two fish! What are they? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. More tilapia in my encyclopedia. Really? Lame. Really? Ow! My cut hurts really bad. That little guys. Sorry. Oh! 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 Come here. Look, there's a oh. fish. Get in the net. Oh, he just swam in. You idiot. <laughs> yeah. That looks like another one of the uh, the ones we've been catching here. A little different though, actually. Maybe. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's that. Definitely some sort of African cichlid. We're gonna throw him in the bucket of keepers. That's a really nice one, guys. Oh right. my god. What? I just had it, dude. You realize what he just went through? He deserves a kiss. Is there mud on my face still? I here, let it. me get that for you. I can feel it. Oh! Ah, oh, man. He's dead. Another dead bluegill. That sucks. That's like the third one we found, guys. It's interesting. The bluegill is like the only dead fish we found. That's just because they're the most delicate. Looks like the rain is coming. I can feel it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. We're going to give this a few more, a few more minutes. We're going to go through the whole thing again. I would hate to leave anything behind and have them, you know, die. And then we're going to check that fish trap. Well, guys, we have been here for probably 30, 45 minutes, literally netting nothing but straight mud. I don't think there's anything left in here. And if it does, it just doesn't want to be saved. That's just how it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop our nets and we're gonna check our fish trap right now and see if we caught anything in that. So let's go over there and check our fish trap. Here we go, we're gonna pull it up. We're gonna pull it up right now. Oh my God. Dude, look at that white fish right in there. Did you see that? No, I did not. Oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh, it's a big fish. It's a freaking Oh, dog. dude, look at the blue one. It's, oh my God. Look at that fish. Oh yeah, oh my oh, that God. That is so nice. That's a freaking electric blue. That's an electric blue peacock cichlid. That is actually insane, bro. I literally love these fish. I've been wanting more. Oh, there's a lot of little warm owls. There's a giant tilapia. Look at this thing. Oh, he's huge. Wow, it's actually Wow. Pretty. Look at the red fins. That's actually a nice tilapia. Sadly, That's we can't. really, oh, he's peeing. Oh, Drink that, it. you already hit me with it. Drink it. Right, we're gonna release that tilapia. We can't do nothing with him. I gotta go get a bucket to, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. God, look at this thing. Look oh at that Oscar. my god. Is that a short body? I need to go grab a bucket. Holy crap, dude. We just caught a short body albino Oscar. All right, we got a brand new bucket here. We're going to fill up all the fish we caught in it. Okay, guys, if you don't know, a short body fish is so much more rare than a normal one. That is wow. so sick. Wow. He's just like a little big meatball. Let's name it Gus. Gus? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, what else we got in here? Oh my god, dude. Nice. It's a giant convict cichlid. That's really cool. All day, that is my favorite spot. I caught, we caught two of those recently at one of our African cichlid spots. And yeah, I just, I want like a breeding population. So that's really good. We got another one. Look at all these little guys. Look at that. <laughs> We're going to save them all. There's something else in here, I thought. Oh yeah, right here. What the heck? Another OB. This Ooh. one's, this one's not as pretty as that other one we just caught out of the mud pit, but that's very, that's a nice one still. All these are fish we're going to save. So we're going to dump them all in this bucket. Little local guys, we're going to save them. Then all the cool stuff, guys, we're going to bring back to my house. This was insane, guys. Like I said, expect a lot of flooding videos, saving fish from flooded things because it, we got so much rain. We're going to head back to my house now and get these fish in their new homes. 
Oh! Oh my god! What? There's one, there's another fish. I see a fish. Ah! No! Where'd it go? It was right here. Oh! Oh my god, I got it. I did get it. Look at this. He was covered in mud. Okay, guys, it's getting really dark. I'm sorry for the lighting, but that's another African cichlid we just pulled out. That's a straight orange one. Oh my gosh. All right, well, it's getting way too dark. We don't have lights. We just got to head back home. That's crazy. All right, you guys, we're back at my house. We're starting things off here at the Oscar Pond. Check it out. Now it's nighttime, so everyone's sleeping. You can actually see all the Oscars back there. Look at them. They're just packed under the vines over there. This pond is doing amazing. There's the giant gourami. This is our Oscar pond. Every Oscar we catch, we throw in here. Also some South American cichlids. And we caught two Oscars today, so it doesn't look like we caught anything, but trust me, they're in here. So There's one. They're in here somewhere. Look at this little guy. I think you have... Oh, that's definitely one of them. Look at the blue. I've literally... Honestly, our, our Oscar inside sushi which we will be moving out here soon. He kind of looks like sushi. Just an absolutely gorgeous Oscar. We're gonna add him in here to the Oscar army. There you go, big guy. Oh, that's so cool. Look at him. Oh, the Grammy's checking him out. <laughs> We've caught short body fish in the abandoned pond before, but never an Oscar. Look at this little guy, little chunkers. What's his name, Gus? Yeah, that's Gus. That's Gus right there. <laughs> what a cool fish. We're gonna add him in. Look, he's like a little pancake. And in the pond he goes. Wow, he looks good, dude. I love the vines in this pond. It looks so good. But yeah, guys, now we got a bunch of African cichlids and native fish that we will also be saving. So let's head to the cichlid pond and add these cichlids in. All right, guys, now don't mind uh, the dirtiness of this pond. We've gotten a lot of rain, like I said. And for some reason, some of the ponds don't handle the rain well. They just murk up. But anyways, we're still going to add these fish in. Look at this guy. This guy's cool. I don't even know what that is. But it's definitely some sort of African. So we will add him in. There he goes. We also got a big jag here. This this is really cool. Now, usually I wouldn't throw jaguars in here, but this guy is really pretty. He's good size. So we're going to add him in the cichlid pond. I think we have one or two. Now, next we have a little OB Mabuna. These guys are really cool. We have a bunch because we do catch them a lot, but he's just we're just adding them. What else we got? Oh my God, dude, we caught dude, so many. Look at that one. Look at this. That one's really cool. And he goes. That is so cool. Look at the white top. Of the fins there that just shows dude the abandoned pond is still producing insane fish we still haven't caught nearly all the fish another mabuna throw him in this guy and there's this guy which i don't even know what it is like the the face looks like an electric blue but it's just completely different and he's gonna look amazing there he goes little orange guy just added to the collection in you go this guy dude honestly all of them are my favorite this guy is insane wow Look at that. Okay, that might be my favorite. There you go, big guy. That is a convict cichlid. That's a big one too, a big old male. We're gonna add him in. That's one of the ones we caught before. Oh, look, see, he was just stressed out. Look how colorful he is now. Beautiful fish. I think that's the last one. Let's make sure here. The rest are native fish. We're gonna walk down to my local creek, dump all these fish in here, throw in the bass. Yeah, guys, this was insane. Like I said, expect more flooding videos soon. And yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, go down there, leave a like, subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.